What's up, little guy? What a day. Scanning access granted. I'm sensing some stray thoughts nearby. Agent Forsyth? Sorry about my family. No need to apologize. All families are terrible. Oh, uh, actually, mine is great, really. Oh, mine too. I was just trying to relate to you in a human way. Sorry to bother you. I know you're busy. I always have time for my interns, Aquato. Now get out of my sight. Let's get oh, a lock on this delicate TK. Scanning access granted. Scanning access granted. Granted.
It's me, Raz, from Whispering Rock. I need to come in there and talk to you. Sorry, senior staff only. What? Really? Senior staff? Fine, I'll get Nick. He's senior staff. Oh no, not again. Hey. I'm working on finding you a brain to keep you out of trouble, Nick. Snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom. I'm working on finding you a brain to keep you out of trouble, Nick. Snow, nor rain, nor heat, nor gloom. if there are any straight thoughts around here. Let's get back to the music, here on KLOB. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB. Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? How do these machines make contact with your mind? The secret is the Cytanium. It's a psychoreactive quartz-like mineral that responds to and amplifies psychic energy. It vibrates with the psychic waves, driving the machines. What's your theory on the mole? Oh, uh, I really haven't thought too much about it. Maybe I should make a lie detector. So is Maligula as bad as people say? Oh, I don't like to think about that name. If my device had just worked better that day, so many things would be different now. What device did you build to fight Maligula? The Hyper High Glaciator. It amplified our hydrokinetic powers and allowed us to freeze water semi-permanently. But Maligula threw our friend Helmet in the water, just before the device went off. He was frozen so deeply in my... hyper-ice, we were never able to recover his body. Only Ford saw it happen, and he's... unable to tell us where to look for it. Well, I... ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very, uh, humorous. You shouldn't be back here. It's Nobody's not safe. Nobody's you yet. Also, personal well, bubble. don't take it personal. Oh. <laughs> 
so many brains. All voluntarily donated upon death. I have all the paperwork. Uh, somewhere. These people are all dead? Uh, their bodies are. And their brains are no longer capable of thought. But I've preserved them here, in the brain frame. What for? Experiments. Ew. Really? No room for the squeamish in psychic science, Sonny. The mind is the final frontier of humanity, and we've only begun to explore its mysteries. That is, after all, the true mission of the Psychonauts. Someday, my brain will live here, and yours too. What? Should have read that NDA more carefully. This one looks not bad. Not bad at all. Probably been a long time since you've had a visitor. I hope you don't mind Poppins. Hmm. Maybe I'm too late. Doesn't seem to be any life left here. Oh, hello. Can you hear me? My name is Raz. Who are you? How long have you been in here? What's your name? Sorry. Oh, you. Sorry, I just haven't talked in such a long time. Oh my gosh, is that my voice? Is that what I sound like? What do you sound like? Oh my gosh, who are you? Are you not me? My name is Raz. Words. Words. You're saying words to me? <laughs> what was that non-word sound I just made? Am I dying? No, not dying. I feel alive. Very alive! Who are you? Who am I? Am I anything? Am I everything? Am I God? Oh, I'm not sure, but I feel like I might be God. Or the universe. Or the ultimate cosmic oneness. Or something in that jam. Am I right? Well, basically right now, you're kind of a... Uh brain in a jar. Uh huh? But if you can remember your name, we might be able to find out what happened to your body. I can't remember... much of anything. Hmm. I believe you are suffering from extreme sensory deprivation. Years with no physical input has caused your memory and identity complexes to atrophy. Oh, I am not ready for words that big yet. I happen to know of a body that needs a brain right now to keep it out of trouble. If I were to place you in that body, you would start to receive fresh sensory input, which could trigger some of your lost memories. Let's do it! Wait, what's a body? Aren't we all one? I'll be right back. What? <laughs> Where can you go? This is everything! I promise to be quick. While I'm gone, you try to remember stuff. Okay, but please hurry. I'll try to remember when I created the universe. Or when I destroyed it. If I put this brain into Nick's body, I think I'd be helping them both out. As well as helping me to get into the mail clerk's private office. Come with me, handsome. Have rain, we'll travel. Back to the mail room to put it in Nick's head. Welcome to the Automatic. Hey, 
Excellent choice. I hope you never need it. Ooh, I should get some of those too. My mental energy has been lagging a little. Great idea. Let's make a side challenge marker and get you ranked up. lying around. You might think this thought tuner looks dorky, but I think it's cool. Mentalis? Uh, yes, Rasputin? Well, I ought to let you get back to work. <laughs> very, very uh, humorous.
How's the jet? There's maybe a... Nah. It was uh, probably just stuck. Ooh, my feet needed a break. Thank you. Sensing some stray thoughts around. Take me into custody? I'm sorry about that note. You don't have to apologize. I'm the one who's sorry. I'm just sensitive because I am guilty. Guilty of what? I'm guilty of being a terrible daughter. I've been a jerk to my dad all year. And now I might never... I might never talk to him again. Why do you feel like you've been a jerk? He made me go to Whispering Rock, even though I thought it was kid stuff. I was mad, and the last thing I said to him was, I never want to follow in your footsteps. I say that to my dad every day. Well, at least your dad's awake and you can go apologize. Unlike mine. That's why I have to fix him. That can't be the last thing I say to him. Anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is something I need. Just name it. There is a very special fungus that only grows in damp parts of the questionable area. Say no more. I'm on it. Thanks, Raz. Hi, Lily. Hey. You'll talk to him again. How can you be so sure, Raz? I just know. I wish I did. My psychic senses tell me that something is really wrong with him. I've been reaching out and reaching out, and he's just not there. Hey, that time we were thinking I was just pretty cool, and if you, uh... Sorry, Raz. I can't even make sense of what you're saying. I guess I'm just too preoccupied. What do you think of these interns? Oh, the new kids? Honestly, I haven't paid too much attention to them. I'm just so focused on my dad right now. Who do you think is the mole? I haven't even had time to think about that. All I really want to think about right now is my father. I'll check in with you later. <laughs> <laughs> 
all right? Don't worry about your dad. He'll be okay. I hope so. Point that thing at me. Yeah, you don't want to wear something like that for too long. This thought tuner looks dorky, but I think it's cool. Found some thoughts. Thanks, thought tuner. Long this brain is going to stay fresh in my backpack. Hey guys! Uh, busted! Now we've got to burn this site and find a new base of operations! What? Pirate radio, Gisu! Gotta be ready to bug out in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. Relax, Morris. I'm not a narc. Exactly what a narc would say. Where'd you get the radio? Gisu fixed up Coach's old transmitter and made it more powerful. Just be careful you don't fall asleep on that thing and broadcast your dreams out to the world. Who would ever be dumb enough to do that? Meh. So why a radio station, Morris? Shouldn't you be working with Mia? Mia wants me to learn how to reach out into the world. And this is how I'm going to do it. With radio. Have you told her about this yet? No, I'm waiting until we get back our first ratings report so I can show her how effective it is. Okay, I need to go report my findings to the radio police. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, coach was trying to throw it out, but I... Hey, Gisu. Rasputin Aquato, say, you seem like the reckless and resourceful type. I have a challenge that I think is perfect for a young man of your disposition. Interested? Can you tell me what it is first? Sorry. It involves some secret high-tech stuff I'm not at liberty to disclose to the non-committal. Whatever it is, I'm into it. Wow. Even more reckless than I thought. Impressive. Here's the issue. My mentor, Otto Mentalis, deployed several psycho seismometers like this one to detect and collect negative psychic residue. Problem is... We kind of forgot about them for a long time. So now they're all overloaded and unstable. I thought instead of me going around venting all these nasty things and stealing all the glory. You want me to do it? For extra credit, you're welcome. And to free me up for more high-minded engineering work. Okay. Come on, rep. Wait, you said yes? All right, good man. <laughs> well, if you survive, be sure to report back, okay? 
With this transmitter, KLOB will finally be on the air. Fuck. No. KLO. We enrobe the mother lobe with music. Cool. So where are your records? Well, I only have one right now. What? Hey, you gotta start somewhere. If I find any, I'll bring you more. I'm counting on it, partner. Let's say supportive free agent, okay? Anyway, our fans come for the music, but they stay for the personalities. Like who? Like me. Huh. And you? Tell the others, but you're my favorite. Just gently release the. Ooh. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! Uh oh. It's accessed no. some sort of fight or flight center in my own brain. I choose fight! Must not badger the gavel. <laughs> I need a side pop. Mm, those side pops are good. And good for you. Never touch a judge's gavel! Let us adjourn for, for the day. Whew. These machines are more work than I expected. But it looks more stable now. Yep. 
forget to smile. Okay, let's see if there are any stray thoughts around here. That thing was making my ears hot. That's a special fungus, but I don't think it's a very special fungus. <laughs> know where any good animal parties are? to your sense of self-protection. Ooh. Can you hear me? Ball of light. Are you in there? Light, dark, and every flavor in between. But all these colors are just one band in this sensual rainbow of rainbows. What is this room, and how can I taste it all at once? And who composed this symphony? Uh, Nick? One symphony is beautiful, but a hundred all at once? Oh, God. I can smell the Big Bang. There's an ant in the wall that's grinding its teeth. Everythingness. Oneness. Nothingness. Nothingness! Nothingness! Is this cashmere? It's too delicious! <laughs> I should really go back in there, but I'm just a little scared. It's too much. got something here that will help. Is it a blindfold? Earplugs? Better. Ooh, I don't know if you want to come in. Whoa, 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 what the? Ball of light? Are you in here? I'm here. Everything's here. Too many things are here. You're experiencing a Sensory overload. Try to stay calm. 
Whatever you do, don't have a... Universe, please shut up! There we are. This is good. Let's stay here. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. Hope this is a good memory. I don't like the looks of these, but I guess they're a sign that he's remembering something. Hope this is a good memory. Where are we? Shh. It's a quiet place. You're needed on stage. Come on, Psy King. My dark place! Psy King? I just wish we knew what to do with them. That's what I need here.
vision sounds a lot like my friend Ford. Were you in a band with Ford Cruller? Ha, <laughs> good old vision. He always had such a good eye for, you know, visuals. I see. Well, maybe when your full memory returns. How's everybody doing tonight? Yikes. Okay, here's the situation. Nick's body is sending you all sorts of sensory input. Smells, tastes, visual sounds, tactile feedback. You've just got to deal with it. We know how to deal with a crowd, man. Speak for yourself. I don't remember a thing. Wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think they only want you guys. Yeah, it's always rough on the opening act. Sorry. the thought tuner while I'm inside the mind. I'm surrounded by so many stray thoughts, it might explode. Or, you know. Yeah, I think they only want you guys. Yeah. some emotional baggage nearby. Uh. You know what this crowd wants? Yeah, they came for a feast of the senses. So give it to them. 
Oh, wow, man, it's been so long, I, I, I don't even know where my violin is. What is a Feast of the Senses? Is it a band? Well, it's more than a band, man. It's a non-stop festival of sights, sounds, smells, feelings, and flavors. And yes, it was our old band. Our old friends. Who was in the band? Besides me, there was uh, Tasty, Dr. Touch, Audio, Sniffles, and of course, on the mic, we had the Psy King. What happened to the feast? Well, the audience just disappeared one day, and the band drifted apart. Uh, I'd do anything to get the band back together again. I'll find your violin. Just tell me where you last used it. Can I even remember what it looked like? Yeah, if only you could see the world the way I see it. the inside of an eyeball would be goopier? Huh. This kind of reminds me of our old stage setup. Coincidence? Huh. Oh. Oh, what's that? A new friend? Well, just helping that no? one. No? An old friend? That's right, it's that kind of world. Things are too fast. Check this out. Whoa! When you're alone as long as I was, time loses some of its meaning, and your perception of it becomes your reality. Want to give it a try? all the colors there are. I'm starting to remember that there might be more. Got eyes on the target. 
And I've got eyes on me. Hi! I see the violin! Did you see it? Sorry if you already saw it, I just think we should be checking in with each other. You know? Dangerous. Let's go somewhere else. Uh, uh. Oh, you're my nut now, okay? Is triggering. I say flight. Flight! My heart is racing. Do I have a heart? <sighs> Your handling is so much better than I would be. How do we get out of here? I don't like it here. Oh no! I can't breathe! Stay calm, man. Stay... calm. Oh, thank you. I don't know what got into me. I think I hear something.
This guy needs a duffel bag tag. Once we get these light ticklers hooked up, the stage show is going to be incredible. Anyone here just want to sit and talk? I don't like the look of that thing. Correctly, it's been a while. Maybe these friends are different. I think you like that a little too much, if you ask me. Don't tell Vision I said this, but eyeballs are kind of gross. If you look at them closely, I already feel horrible for saying that. Statue's big enough? Ah, oh, well, you need a big check. ego at the front check of the band, one. am I right? Check, check, check. <laughs> My eyes feel so full, I think they might throw up. Is that possible? Is that what crying is? giant eyes. Okay, I know this looks like a blender, but do not pour any drinks in it. object we desire. What was that again? Something to do with mixed drinks. Is this the end? Or have we bent around back to the beginning? Oh, right! It's a violin! That's what we wanted! Well, what do you
are you waiting for? It's better, but to handle a crowd that size, we need the whole band, man. We need Tasty, Sniffles, Dr. Touch. And Audie. Yeah, Audio. You're remembering, man. <laughs> Where are they all now? Oh, they wandered off when the audience left. Could be anywhere. This festival covers so many acres. Hey! <gasps> Didn't we used to have a cool band van? Mobile. I'll bet they're still at the festival somewhere. Woohoo! So what's driving? Whoops. They might have wandered into the campgrounds, it's true. Sorry. Careful. This van's barely holding together as it is. Ooh, our promoter's not gonna like that.